So I was just starting to read ahead. Amy, Amy Davis is here. You're back. <laughs> Very, back. Very rude of me. No, no that's all right. We're I'm never going to cut off Amy Davis. Yeah. Washing clothes because okay. a lot of people, whether they waited out of floodwaters and they just need to wash the clothes that they were wearing when they waited out, mm -hmm. or if you're going back into your home after floodwaters have receded and found that floodwaters got to bottom drawers of, of clothes. Yes. There is a way to wash those and there is a way to clean them. You can't just throw all of your clothes into the washing machine and hit start like you normally do. The American Cleaning Institute has advice about how to properly get the flood mess off of your clothes. Remember, flood waters often include sewage, so there could be contamination. They say first you want to scrape and shake off dirt and other residue from clothes as soon as possible. And then you want to pre wash fabrics in cool water. You're pre washing and they say hot water may set in stains. Mm. So oh. you're using small loads with a full water level so don't stuff your washing machine full and then allow the clothes to rinse and spin dry. You take them out then you pre-treat those clothes with stain remover and then you actually use the wash cycle using the hottest water safe for fabrics. They say powdered laundry detergent is more effective in removing clay and that ground in dirt instead of your liquid liquid laundry. Or those detergent. pods maybe? Um, yeah well, well I mean they, they actually recommend powdered. Okay. I, mean, I think you know the powder is sort of a combination of the, the I liquid. I guess it is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, well, so since clothing may have been contaminated with sewage, you add disinfectant to the wash. You can use a liquid household bleach. If you got colors, use color safe bleach mm. and then continue to wash the clothes until they are clean. You want to look at the rinse water, which may be harder to do if you have a front loading machine. Right. Yeah, but yeah, if you have a top loader, they say look at the rinse water and make sure that it, as long as it's dirty or cloudy, then they need to be washed again. And you just repeat those cycles mm. until the water is clear and your clothes should be clean. So it's a lot of steps, yeah. um, but if you're trying to salvage, yeah, you know, that's that something that meaningful stuff. to you or sentimental. Yeah, exactly. And then, you know, I know a lot of the stuff like bedding and things that does take on water. If it can't be washed like that, a lot of times they just say you have to toss it because it can't yeah. be disinfected properly. Yeah. What about mildew? Is that an issue? I mean, mildew is definitely an issue, and they say that's why they give all these steps to do those sooner rather than later, because your clothes, too, will start to mildew if you just sort of toss them in a pile and say, I'm going to get to those later. Yeah. Um, but mildew in your home, we're going to go through all of those steps and sort of working with contractors on what steps you can take in your home until you can get professionals out mm -hmm. to try to slow the growth of mildew, mm -hmm. you know, taking out carpet and and drying the things out task. with one of the big fans. Exactly. Sooner they can yes. dry it out, the better. I know it's exactly. tough. Exactly. They say mold growth starts within 24 to 48 hours oh after a flood. So that's now. It's already going. Yeah. yeah like it's yesterday. It's already started. Right. Yeah. All right, Amy, we appreciate it. All right.